Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode in my series uh, that's going to be coming out here. I'm going to try and do one of every spy vault in Warframe. So this vault here is the vault I like to call a pit because it is basically a large vertical vault with a bottomless pit at the bottom of it. And let's get that hack started. These aren't particularly difficult hacks, but... Getting your hacks, there's not a lot of explanation to it. Whoa! I did not clear the room behind me. Okay, so there's a principle of there's a principle of spy for you. Always clear the room behind you before you try and hack those thingies if it's an option. Uh, now, if you notice, I'm taking a Nyx frame. Uh, frames like Nyx have strong CCs that last long enough that you can hack while the rest of the room is in chaos. Or frames like Ash and Loki that have long-term invisibility are all great frames to use if you don't think you're going to be able to clear rooms behind you. Which happens a lot in, in Corpus levels, thing I said in a previous episode. Because you, you can't kill the MOAs because they keep spawning out of the cabinets. But this is a, this is a Grenier episode, so hopefully we should be able to make sure there aren't anything spawning. Those guys aren't coming in. Okay, back to the vault. So, principles of this vault. Now, a couple, there are a bunch of different paths to you can get to this vault here. The main enemies are if you... Whoa, make sure he doesn't see me there. There are a couple... Um, little sensor regulators that patrol around one of the, at least one on each side and uh, make sure he doesn't see me there. He's turning in my general direction so I'm crouched down. Uh, there's at least usually there's one sensor regulator on each side and then if you want you can destroy the sensor regulators, destroy those little arc traps and go all the way down to the bottom and then in, uh, then from there you can hack in your way into an elevator and and make your way to the top. I'll show you that way in a minute, but for right now I'm going to show you the way I usually do it, which is to use the the system of tunnels and ropes and things to go over the top of the vault instead, because I think that's a lot easier. This doesn't involve messy work with the regulators. So, uh, jump up here. Whoa! I just about over judged. Oh, I ran that jump. <laughs> Forgot. I think I have mobilized on this Nyx right now. Okay. So, hop up here. And as you notice, there's a bunch of different tunnels. I think that there's a tunnel that gets you out up here. There's another one that I was down below. You can you can take all these tunnels. There's even more tunnels if I was to go on the right side, but I usually just use the zip line. Um, for some reason, about four times out of five, it spawns an arc trap right there that you have to take out. But today it didn't. So who knows? All right, I'm actually sw switch my static core. Okay. So once you get over to this uh, this place, then you actually don't have to worry about using the uh, elevator to get up into the room. This is one of the few vaults where there are very few enemies in this room, and the enemies that are in this room almost never figure out a way to get up in this vault with you. So that's why I'm okay with hacking this panel right here to get into the vault. As I was saying in an earlier episode, um, obviously it... Obviously, if, you, if there is a way into the room that doesn't involve opening a door to it, then that's always a good thing. And in this case, in this case, you could take that elevator, which I'll show you here in a moment. But I think it involves much less messiness. Enemies, you just go ahead and uh, break straight through the front door in that case. And then, if you want to get back out. Watch yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, keep, keep talking, Lotus. If you want to get back out, you can do it aim glide, and you can easily get back there, and then hop straight back down. Now, I'm going to show you the way to do this if you want to take the other route in this vault, so you can blow apart their arc trap. Uh, use, I'm going to use a tank over here. Ouch! How many arc traps are there? Hold it. Okay, that one blew up. You can... I believe you have to take up both regulators, because they do eventually... Yeah, you do have to take up both regulators. Which would be easier if I was using hit scan weapon, but since I'm not, I'll work with what I've got. Come on. I yeah, got him. Okay, and like I said, bonus pip. Okay. Oh, okay. There's an enemy that came in the vault with me. Oh, girly. Oh, serration. Nice drop. Anyway. <laughs> so, what you can do then, 
is, if you notice, this elevator is does have a nice grade in front of it. But if you have this panel right here, oops. pro hacker. All right. So if you hack that panel right there, then we'll drop the elevator, and that turns off. And if you press this, then it will take you straight up into here. So if you're a stealth frame then you might have an easier time just taking that and since you can walk straight past the regulators. Me, I'm just using a shade. I don't trust shade to necessarily get me past them. He might blink. Might, might blink me, so... A lot safer just to go across the top. Alright, that is all for this vault. All for the pit vault. Uh, peace out, YouTube. Herbs are bad.